yeah hi friends welcome back to my channel so today we have the new topic ansible tower so in this uh, video i will let you know what is ansible tower what is the requirements so what is the supported operating system and how to install the ansible tower in centos 7 so this is the requirement like we have to tell you how to install it so let us know like what is ansible tower sensible tower is a it is the automation tool and generally that is used uh, used in uh, in all industry like in the IT industry and sensible tower is a web based solutions that makes sensible even more easily to use it and the the main purpose the tower is the free and is open so it is it can use for the 10 nodes and we can centralize and control IT infrastructure with the visual dashboard and it is role based access and the requirements like Ansible tower has the following requirements like it it required minimum 2 CPU and the 4 GB RAM and memory and Ansible version would be minimum 2.8 and also it required the database that is the PostgreSQL database and it supports the 64 bit uh, runtime and the kernel and minimum the space is required around 20 gb hard disk is required for that and the support uh, supported operating system that is centos 7 or ubuntu but it is it would be minimum like the centos 6 or centos 7 it will, it will be not support centos 5 okay and the it is the minimum requirement so let's start uh, to set up the Ansible tower in the CentOS 7 okay so let me open the AWS console so I can create one of the EC2 instance with the CentOS 7 OS and after that we can set up the Ansible tower so here we go so let uh, you can see I have opened the uh, is AWS console so let me create one instance with the CentOS 7 so let me create the launch instance here yeah, let's click on that you can define any name but here i'm i'm giving the different name as we are using for the ansible tower so i'm giving the name ansible tower as i told you it is supported centos 7 so let, let me take the centos 7 here so i have to click on browse for the more ways here we can select the community AMI on the left hand side you can see all kind of the flavor available so let's select the CentOS 7 CentOS and here I have to take the CentOS 7 7.5 private one let me select that It, it will be 64 bit as I told you it required minimum 2 CPU and the 4G memory so let me change it ok you can see it's central 7 it is already central 7 as for the requirement we have to take minimum 2 CPU and 4G memory so let me change T2 micro to T2 medium which contains 2 CPU and the 4G memory here I have already the key so I can select AC2 that is the key name and the security group we can take the existing I have the existing one the default one in which I have allowed all the traffic so I select the default one so you don't need to open any specific port because I, by default I have allowed all the port in the security group so I'm using the default one and as for the requirement we require minimum 20 gb uh, hard drives uh, hard disk uh, like storage so i selected 20 gb for that and in the advanced settings it is not required to define anything so let me click on launch instance it will take maximum two or two minute uh, two minute to make it online so so let's wait for two minutes minute 
you can see here it is uh, it is on it is running now so let me connect it i will direct connect uh, from the command prompt but if you have the putty or you know uh, any different uh, like the program you can connect it so here i can connect it from the putty like the bash bash cell it is connected now so let me switch to root user because root is the super user and it has the all access so here we have to set up this pre-request like we have to update the OS then we have to install the EPEL like the release and that is for to get the extra package and after that we have to set up we have to install the vim editor as well as the ansible okay so here we go so i see it is throwing some error but that is i think that is the uh, it is trying to check the epl but let's see if uh, if the package will be not available then we can download the epl release of the epl rpm uh, explicitly then we can download it and we have to install it okay but I, I I see here the all the packages are found from the that that EPL repo and it is getting successfully installed so it is not required to download the EPL release RPM explicitly You can see Ansible 2.9 is installed because as for the pre-requirement we required minimum Ansible version would be 2.8 but it's 2.9 so that is fine as for the requirement. So let's go to the second step we have to download the tar file. So I'm downloading the latest Ansible tar file. Then we have to extract it because that is the cheap one that is a compressed one so let me extract it and once get ex extract then we have to go inside the ansible setup directory uh, here you can see inventory files so we have to update it some required parameters let me open the inventory file here Generally, we have to set the password like the username, password, and the you know some of the password parameter are there. So that is already blank. So we have to change to uh, any password. So as for the demo perspective, I'm keeping the name as Red Hat, but you can keep any name. So as for your convenient. So the password has been changed. So let me check other parameter. Okay, I see that's fine. Okay. So those four parameter I changed it and I have highlighted that. And let's uh, and after up updating that inventory file, then you have to set up it. So let me run this command and this setup command it, it will take some time. Like you can say, it depend upon the uh, the installation process. It may take like the more than 10 to 15 15 minutes. So let's wait for 10 to 15 minutes. You can see it is installing the Postgres SQL. Now it's downloading the tower, the install tower. This installation process will take some time. So in that case, you just need to wait for that. It is very straightforward. Okay, so you don't need to update, you know, uh, like any, uh, any code. You just need to update the inventory file. Apart from that, you just need to download the file and you have to just follow, the, just follow this document follow my video so then it can be installed successfully
so you can see it has been installed successfully so uh, let me take the public ip of this ec2 instance and let me open it and to verify and you have to make sure you have to open with https because that is the secure one so let me open this UI and let me go to advance and on save. Now you can see Ansible Tower is opening. Just let me check the password in the inventory file. I have already defined. So let's just let me double check what is the password I have kept. Yeah, it is the red hat huh? so username would be red, username would be admin and the password would be red hat so let me click on sign in so you can see ansible tower has been installed successfully and, uh, and now it the, we are able to open the ui also but it required the license so for trial if you want to take the trial one for the 60 days you have to register for that and if you want to get the like the premium uh, subscriptions then you have to contact the red hat to get the license so thank you guys so it is the process like to set up the ansible tower so while installing the ansible tower if you have any difficulties please just let me know so definitely you can connect and i can help you out so thank you so much guys so please like and subscribe my channel thank you so much so we can meet in the next time thank you If you like my video, please share it, subscribe it and like it. Thank you so much again. Also comment comment it on the in my on, in, in my video. Thank you. Bye bye guys. So that's it for today's uh, session. So we can connect in the next session with a new topic. So till the time, bye bye. Take care, guys.